it's mine. Thanks for tuning in again. This video is not an update video on my pregnancy. This is a little haul that I'm going to do. This is my first baby girl, newborn baby girl clothing haul or things haul or whatever you want to call it. I recently had my baby shower. I got some really cute, cute outfits. And I've also just bought stuff um, over time since I found out I was pregnant. So I thought I'd share with you some of the really cute things that I have. I, I could sit here and go through every single gift that I received at my baby shower, but this video would go for quite some time. And um, I think everyone knows what a Bonds onesie looks like. So I did get quite a few of them, which I'm really grateful for because they're gonna be awesome. But sometimes you might wanna dress your little princess up in something a little bit more exciting than a onesie. So uh, yeah, I'm, I just wanted to share with you some of the really cute outfits that um, we have for little baby. I will start with something that I purchased when I first found out that I was pregnant and I found out, I bought this before I knew I was having a girl, but I just, anyone that knows me knows I love elephants. And I got this one, I think it was from Big W, but it's just a little tiny onesie with elephants on it. Um, <laughs> So cute! Um, so that's definitely something that I will put her in. It's a three, it's for three months, so it might be a little bit big for her to start with, but it's so cute. Um, another thing that I bought when I found out um, we were expecting, it was actually, well, sorry, not when I just found out, I bought this for Father's Day, which is in September, um, to give to Jacob as a Father's Day gift, because even though the baby's not here yet, I still wanted him to feel like he's a dad. There's a baby in my stomach. So I, <laughs> I found this little online website called Urban Bubs. Now, just a disclaimer, I'm not going to buy from them ever again, only because the turnover time is six weeks, um, because they everything's pre-order on their website. They have some really cute stuff. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to diss the company. The prices are really reasonable, but who the hell wants to wait six plus weeks for their stuff to come? So, yeah, I wasn't able to give Jacob his stuff for Father's Day because it came like two months later. So that was annoying. <laughs> but I, <laughs> I managed to find some really cute things. This was one of them. It says, Dad, you got this. <laughs> it's got all the arrows pointing to like where the arms and legs go. Not that he's a retard, but I just thought it was funny. <laughs> I also got from Kmart, shout out to Kmart, best shop ever, um, this little onesie, love my daddy, so cute. Um, so they're just like little plain things. From that Urban Bubs website as well, I bought, I got this little romper. Um, what I like about it is that it's got the nappy clips at the bottom so that you don't have to take the whole thing off to change a nappy. Um, this will be perfect for her because she's going to be born in summer so it's something, it's a newborn size so she can wear it straight away which will be fun. I also got this I love. This is what made me want to buy stuff off their website because I thought this was adorable. It's a little Bambi romper. So it's got like, maybe you can see down the bottom, Bambi on it. Little frilly sleeves. This one's to fit her when she's a little bit bigger. Um, it doesn't have the sizes written on them. That's the only problem. So I guess when she comes, I'm just going to have to gauge it and just see if they fit her when, whenever I sort of do that. Yeah. This little outfit to fit her when she's probably more towards next summer. So it's a little t-shirt with a love heart. And it comes with <laughs> these little nappy pants with a bow you can tie up. I thought that was so sweet. I can just imagine the little fat legs sticking out the bottom of these. So freaking cute. I have to say, like having a baby girl is like so much fun because there's so much cute stuff out now for babies. Like, oh my god. I could literally spend a fortune, which I won't because that would be dumb. But it's just nice to have a few cute little pieces to dress her up in. Um, okay, another thing that I bought was a swaddle. Now please forgive me, I can't remember where I got this from. But it says Baby Boss on it. 
and if I find if I can figure out where I bought it from if I remember I think I bought it from a website called Tutu Irresistible as in like a tutu irresistible pun get it I, I will link all the stuff in the description box below if you want to buy any of the stuff so this is the swaddle I won't open it up completely but it's just that pretty sort of floral pattern and it, oh shit shit it comes with this little matching bow so cute so yeah when we leave the hospital I'm definitely wrapping her in this um, to take her home if it's not too hot. Now, Nana, both Nanas, my mum and Jacob's mum, have spoiled the crap out of her already. She's not even here. Um, I <laughs> got, oh, got off Jacob's mum this, oh my god, cutest pair of little shoes. Look at these. They're so cute. They won't fit us straight away. They're a size 2. Um, I don't know where she got them from because it just says Walker sizes 2 to 5. Um, and there's nothing else written on them. It just says baby baby inside the shoe. So wherever these came from, they're cute as hell. I love them. I can't wait for her to get big enough to wear them. My mum <laughs> went up to a market in the mountains and bought this freaking, oh my god, so I think it's from a shop in Lura, and ex please excuse me if I pronounce it wrong, but it's Papinel. Papinel. So they sell like nice um, pajamas and stuff in that shop. I've been in there a few times, but Mum got these little nappy pants, and it comes with a little matching bib. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute! I can't wait to stick her in this, this little white singlet and these little things and. I'll be too scared she'll vomit all over the bib, but I mean, why have pretty things if you're not going to use them? A couple of other things that I bought online, they're not clothing, but they're just stuff that I I thought would be cute. I think they're based in Perth, but they're called Peekaboo Bubba, and they do custom um, pram liners. So you go on their website and find the pram that you have, and then they you go select the fabric you want, and they make pram liners that will fit your pram exactly is it excessive yes I don't need a pram liner but they updated their fabrics and I've been looking at getting a pram liner done since I bef since before I knew I was having a girl and um, when I found out it was a girl I kind of stalked the site I wasn't like in love with the fabric some of them but then this one come up as a new fabric edition and I had like that was it I bought it because I was like that is adorable so this is the pram liner so as you can see, I have an obvious love of pink and like a pastel-y bluey greens <laughs> um, and like floral prints, I guess, but it's so cute and my pram's kind of like a greyish silver colour, so I just thought it would match and look really, really sweet. Um, I think the liners are about, they range from like 70 to 90 bucks, so they're pretty pricey, but... You can add like waterproof lining to them. You can get ones made that are double sided. So you pay a little bit extra and they'll use a different fabric on the back so that you can flip it and have two options. I didn't bother with that because I was like, I'm spending enough already. <laughs> and I also got the pram straps that go along with it, but they forgot to send that out with my liner. So I contacted the company and they apologized and they're sending them out. So there was no malice or whatever. They were pretty cool with it. Um, I just have to wait now for that to come, but I have no baby yet to put in a pram, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Another um, company that I found through Instagram was Bubs First. Um, I was Googling uh, change mat covers because um, I bought a changing mat from Ikea on the um, suggestion. My brother suggested get this. This is good because he uses it with his two babies so I bought that because I don't have a change table I've just got a set of um, chest of drawers and I've just popped the mat on top of the table but I wanted her room to look cute so I purchased a change mat cover off this website 
I think I got it on sale. They were doing like a flash sale. So I think I paid about 25 bucks for it maybe. I think they're usually about 35 maybe. I can't remember. I'll link it below. But it's pretty plain. Like it's nothing crazy. But this is... This is the change mat. You can't really... Like that's the <laughs> change mat. So anyways, the top is like a soft pink plush sort of stuff. But the bottom half is like... Um, it's made out of some kind of fabric so like I don't know how to explain it I don't know what it's called but basically if you wipe anything on there like dirt or like poo in the case of a baby staining poo on there it wipes straight off with a baby wipe so it's like can you hear that it's like a waterproof stain proof sort of fabric so it would be very hard to dirty which I thought was really practical yeah I've also ordered online a bassinet fitted sheet for the bassinet that I have I'm using Jacob's mum's bassinet that she was used like well it's actually his grandmother's because Jacob's mum was put in this bassinet when she was a baby and then all of the kids were used in that bassinet and all of the grandkids have been used in the bassinet so I it has been passed on to moi to use for our little baby girl and the mattress filling is made from tea tree leaves which is meant to um, help the baby breathe and um, cut cut down significantly on cot death so if the baby rolls over and plants their face in the mattress they can still breathe through the, tr the tea tree leaves they, they won't suffocate so anyways long story short I bought a cot liner thing but I don't have it yet I only ordered it the other day so it's coming and I'll show it to you in another video anyways so my baby shower happened the other week and I got some dead set cute outfits from some of my friends and family. Um, so the first thing I'll show you is this hilarious little outfit that I got off my sister-in-law Jess. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I'm a hardcore Harry Potter fan so it says snuggle this muggle and it comes with the, the Gryffindor pattern little pants with it and a little baby so that's adorable I can't wait to fit her into that because that's a bit of my nerd side coming out so very bloody cute I'm pretty sure this is an online thing but I don't know I don't know what website she's got it from but I have seen it circulating on Facebook before so I'm sure if you typed in Harry Potter baby clothes like it would probably come up I guess my beautiful cousin <laughs> Taylor got this sweet little princess dress um, it's hard to tell but it's all glittery gold up the top and there's all like glitter can you see the sparkling little glitter dots all over the skirt and it comes with this crown <laughs> so adorable this is a newborn size too so I'll be able to put the baby in it straight away kind of sucks that she's not going to be here for Christmas because this would have been a perfect little Christmas outfit for her but that's all right if she still fits in it for mm. Easter maybe I can oh no she'll be too big by Easter I'll just have to do something special and put her in it um but I think I'm not exactly sure where she bought this from but I'm, I have a feeling it might have been best and less or something and I'm not sure of the price, but if you go and look in there, you might find it. So, very damn cute. Thank you, Taylor. <laughs> Another family friend of ours, Courtney and her mum, Anne, got this cute as hell little tutu. <laughs> it's so cute. I was like, I just I can't get over how adorable some of this stuff is, hey. Um, but it looks like it's from a company called Penny & Co. So, I'm guessing they might be online. Um, this one's a newborn size, so it's got the little nappy thing at the bottom again, which is really practical. And, yeah, a little tutu skirt on it, so that's too damn cute for me. <laughs> Your little unicorn nappy pants with the frills all up the back. That's from Penny & Co as well. I can't believe how cute stuff, like, girl stuff is so damn cute. I've got this gorgeous wrap as well. quite big I think 
I think this came from Penny and Co as well. So that's another gorgeous piece that I will have to take a bajillion pictures of little baby in because it's just too pretty to not take photos of her in it. Um, another thing that I got from them from the same company is this little onesie. It's a little bit bigger so it'll fit her at winter time. So it's got the little sleeves again with a little lace detailing and um, yeah, it's a sweet little colour. So that'll look cute with some little leggings or something like that. My friend Carly got this cute little onesie as well with a little floral print on it. It's also got the nappy clips at the bottom, nice and practical. Uh, and it came with a little bow as well. I don't know what I did with it, somewhere in the, in the mess, but adorable. Oh, hang on. This is from a place called Love Alley. So I'm not sure if that's an online company either, but I'm sure if you Google that, you would find it. This one is from my mum's friend, Alice. And it came with matching little um, nappy pants and a little bow as well. Um, I think she might have got this from one of the markets up the mountains when she went shopping with mum. Because this looks handmade. It's really damn cute. It is so sweet. This is one of Jacob's favourite um, dresses. So this is also, it seems to be a newborn size. Oh, Cindy Pang, it says. Triple zero size, so very cute. And the last thing that I've pulled aside just to show is this little beanie <laughs> that I got from um, Brett and Pontus. Um, it's from Peter Alexander. So I think it's meant to be like Winnie the Pooh or one of the Disney characters because they always have like heaps of Disney merch there and just characters and stuff. So this is freaking cute as hell. Once it gets cold, this should fit her head. So it says one size. It'll be too big for her to wear when she's just born, but that's okay anyway. It'll be way too hot to wear a beanie. Um, but once she's, you know, getting towards winter time, she, her head should be big enough to fit this on. It's so cute. Oh, but anyways, I got tons of... Um, I got tons of other stuff, uh, some other clothes, just like some Bonds onesies and just some plain little singlets and um, little bits and pieces like that. And I got quite a lot of muslin swaddles and um, towels and just some, some items for, you know, like nappy bins and thermometers and bottles and sippy cups and books and lots of other cute little things for her. but. That's sort of the main bulk of the cute clothes and some of the things that I've bought for her already. I'm going to go now because I'm dying of heat because it is like 100,000 degrees in my house. And um, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!